Hi you guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. Today we have some really interesting staging going on. You might be asking yourself, what are we doing in your bedroom? And I'll get to that. Your second question might be, why are you in a bathing suit with a pool tote and sunglasses in your bedroom? So, um, for those of you that don't know, I moved uh, two days ago. And during the move, I, you know, obviously had to pack up all my sewing stuff and everything else. All while that was going on, the lovely people at Cricut reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to participate in their Sew with Cricut blog tour. And of course, yes, absolutely, I would love to do that. Little did I know that it was going to come to um, this, where I was literally walking out the door with my adorable tote bag, um, and I look outside and I notice okay it's drizzling no big deal there's a covered area of the pool so i pull up my weather app um intense thunderstorms hail blinding rain all of that coming our way coming straight for us so you might see in the window behind me it get darker and darker and darker as time goes so basically i had to cancel my cute little photo shoot that i had scheduled out by the pool um and we're gonna do it in the apartment but couldn't just do it anywhere in the apartment. My um, filming studio area that I have been working on has some other special projects going on that I can't allow you to see. And my living room is basically boxes. So this was the cutest, most organized area of my apartment right now. So I figured, what the hey, let's just give this a go. Um, I think that you're going to love the tote bag anyways and this adorable little uh, drink cup that I made. Um, so just try and pretend that there is cool blue water and a bright sun and maybe a huge umbrella and it looks lovely um, and peaceful and relaxing and like we're not in my bedroom but we are and I'm in a bathing suit. I didn't even bother changing. I'm like, you know what? I got like this outfit together for this. I'm just gonna keep wearing it. What the hey? The weather isn't gonna bring me down. Okay, so with all of that in mind, let me tell you about these awesome projects that I made with my new Cricut machine. So here is my adorable new pool tote. Um, I just absolutely adore it. I mean, you can't go wrong with pink and gold and flamingos, right? I mean, that how can that not be cute? So yeah, I made this pattern from M7611. Um, I wanna say it's a newer accessories pattern. I, I mean, I just got it, yeah, copyright 2017. So this is a newer pattern of theirs. I made version A, which is the smaller of the tote bags, but I think these are adorable too, and I will definitely try to make those. Um, but this is the version that I made here. I did opt, instead of for the fabric uh, handles, I just took some cording that you can get at any craft store and used that with metal grommets. So you can see the metal grommets here. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have put these a little bit higher, but I was trying to use the markings from the pattern and it didn't quite work out. But hey, who cares? Not me. You know, making a bag is no big deal. I think that so long as you have some really great interfacing, your tote bag is going to turn out cute no matter what. But elevating that to another level, to a level where people go, hey, where did you get that bag? I think that that is where Cricut comes into play because you can come up with whatever is in your mind, whether it be a quote, whether it be um, your monogram, whether it be um, an image of something, literally whatever it is, the Cricut can cut that out onto this iron-on vinyl and you can add it to your projects. And it just makes them personalized. It makes them definitely unique. Um, and I think it just makes them really, really special. But I chose an adorable little quote, um, poolside is my paradise. And I used Cricut's iron on vinyl. Um, the fabric again is from Joanne's, um, like home deck section. 
Um, I just got this hot pink color and then found the flamingos, which are adorable. And then the inside is just lined with like a navy, um, like it's like a, it's a maybe a vinyl backed cotton. So it's still waterproof and sand proof as much as it can be anyways. Um, I thought it was important that if it was going to be like around water that, you know, it resist as much moisture as possible. And then I also made this adorable little drink cup. It says, it has a little flamingo on it and it says tall drink of water, which I thought was cute because you need water, you need to hydrate by the pool. Um, so I just got this little cup off of Amazon and you basically just screw, there's like a screw for the lid and then there's a screw for the base and it's just double walled. And so you're allowed, you can put paper, you can put fabric, you can put whatever you want in there. So I stuck in my adorable little new design, which I just love. So working with the Cricut machine is actually super, super simple. I was sort of intimidated whenever I first got it because I had never used anything like that before. And I don't know, it was just like very foreign territory, but I had an, an awesome time in their design space like designing these things. These are all original Lindsay designs. Um, I actually have made them downloadable for you. So all you do is download the file, import it into your Cricut's design space, and then you can print out this exact same design. But I had a lot of fun with that. I think it kind of spoke to, you know, a part of my creativity. Um, I wouldn't call myself a graphic designer by any stretch of the word, but um, I do find this stuff fun and interesting. So I enjoyed that. If you don't, there are tons of designs that you can purchase off of Etsy and import, or you know, you can follow other bloggers and import theirs. But Cricut really does a really good job of making so many, I mean, there's like thousands of images tons and tons and tons of um, different fonts and everything so that you can play with. Um, so there's, they do make it pretty easy for anybody to do it, but if you're not into that, that's okay. You can just purchase them and then, or download them for free somewhere and then import them in and, and you're off to the races. Um, and so once I kind of got the hang of it, I was like, this is a little bit addicting, which is why I ended up with two projects instead of just one, because I just wanted to keep playing with it. I just wanted to keep trying new things. So while I was making the tote, I took a couple of notes. I filmed um, some of the instructions on how to work the machine and everything like that. So I am going to cut to myself from last night <laughs> explaining how to um, cut out and apply the vinyl. Take it away, Lindsay from 24 hours ago. So here she is beautiful machine i mean so many great little details um the color of it it's kind of hard to see but it's mint green and then there's like all these really pretty silver accents they did such a good job silver white mint green it's kind of like a nod to the 50s or something i don't know i just love it so pretty Okay, so right whenever you open the box, you get this little um, packet of like your warranty and like um, other websites and a little booklet and all that jazz. And to get started, you go to cricut.com slash setup. And honestly, it couldn't be easier. You just click through all the steps and then click the continue button and it walks you through everything. I mean, anybody could figure this out. All right, you guys, we are ready to cut. I've got my beautiful matte gold vinyl onto the mat, and you can see the mat is like sticky, so that's how it sticks to it. And yeah, the mat is loaded, and we are ready to go. Okay, all done. And I don't know, can you guys see? So now we'll peel all that away. Okay, so I have pulled away all of the 
like background and you'll see there are all these little areas where you have to remove like the inner part so you get this little tool called a weeder and you use it to pull up all those negative space areas like so so I'm gonna do that for all these little areas all over and then I'll be ready to iron. So there are all my little weed scraps. And here is the design. And obviously you print it backwards so that whenever you iron it on, it's the right way. Cause you're gonna, you know, press this, this side down. So the design side down, so then it'll be right side up. Anyways, there's my design. Super easy. Weeding is a lot of fun. I think it's very therapeutic. Um, the more intricate, the better, in my opinion. Go crazy. So at this point, you basically have an iron-on decal where one side is like shiny and nothing's on it. And then the other side is sticky and where the de where the vinyl is placed on it. So I'm going to, this is my fabric where I'm going to place the image and basically I'm going to center it and make it beautiful and put it somewhere like that and apply the iron to the plasticky side of the iron on so a couple tips for getting this centered or at least as centered as you can um i took my clear ruler and i lined up the edge of the fabric which i know is straight to the edge of this um, clear backing which i also know is straight and put it at about two and one eighth. And then down here, I did just about the same thing. Just made sure that the bottom of the P was within that two and one eighth. It's not exact, but it's close enough and no one's gonna notice. And then also you can barely see, but I fold, gently folded back this clear plastic and put a little notch slit um, into the plastic where the center was so that I could line it up with my center notch that's here on my pattern. So just a couple things to help guide you. Again, it's probably not exactly down to the millimeter perfect, but I think from afar, it will be just fine. Also be mindful of your seam allowances. So if you're making something like, let's say you're making, I don't know, like shorts or something and you have a waistband, I don't know why you would put a decal on the front of shorts, but hey, to each his own. Anyways, just to illustrate my point, and you had to like fold this over, um, you would want to make sure that you centered your decal in the center after all the seam allowances are taken into account. So all of mine are the same, they're all half an inch, so I don't have to worry about that, but um, just something else to keep in mind as you're getting ready to iron this onto your fabric. There's kind of no turning back at this point. So make sure it's exactly how you want it. Ta-da! There you go. It's all on there. Isn't it beautiful? I love it against this pink background. So from here on out, you just sew your pattern per the pattern instructions. So you can see it's pretty easy. You just, you know, load up the uh, mat and press a couple buttons and away it goes. Um, it's very magical. It's very um, like, it puts you in a trance kind of watching it. I had to convince myself for the second one to just walk away and let it do its thing. Otherwise I was sitting there like mesmerized by it. Um, and then, um, like I said, the part about weeding everything out was really kind of therapeutic and a lot of fun. And I really quite enjoyed that part. Maybe tedious to some people, but um, I really didn't mind it at all. Um, the application process, like to get this onto the fabric, wasn't bad at all. I will say though that this umbrella fabric does melt. It does not take to heat well at all. But, um, so I had to use like a pressing cloth. I'm sorry if the thunder is drowning out my voice. This is just a comedy of errors. 
um, my pool bag in a thunderstorm. Anyways, um, so I did have to use a pressing cloth and I couldn't put it on the highest seat he uh, heat setting of my iron, like the instructions say, because it would melt. So I really just had to take longer. I had to press it down firmly for a shorter amount of time multiple times so normally they say your highest heat setting on your iron 20 to 25 seconds um lift and then repeat i ended up doing like 10 to 15 seconds lifting and repeating and then going over the design again and then taking the tip of my iron and pointing it at some of the like as you start to peel back the plastic um you can see the parts that aren't quite adhered and so you just it's very forgiving very very forgiving you just place the plastic back over top take the tip of your iron and rub vigorously over that spot until everything adheres so probably a trickier fabric um than just like a t-shirt or a regular quilting cotton or something like that but i didn't know i didn't know so and it's totally Lindsay fashion for me to just make things more difficult than they need to be right <laughs> So the instructions for how to do everything prior to using the machine are just as simple. I'm going to have detailed step-by-step -step DIY instructions on the blog version of this video. So for every video I post, in case you didn't know, I also post it on my blog at insidethehem.com. So go there and you'll have instructions. I just like instructions written. Personally, I don't like watching how-to videos. Um, I like to skim through the instructions and get to the place I need really easily. So that's what I'm gonna do for you guys. Um, but all the design instructions and how to prepare your design for cutting will all be there. Um, and then the ironing of the vinyl, that will be on the, the instructions for ironing the vinyl will be on the blog as well. So be sure to go check that out. Um, so now that I have convinced you that you need your own Cricut machine, how about winning one? Doesn't that sound awesome? Um, through this whole um, Sewing with Cricut blogger kickoff tour, um, they are giving away a machine. So there's gonna be a link in the description box. Here's how you access the description box for those of you that are new to my channel. Um, it can be a little tricky depending on which device you're watching on. Either way, I got you covered. Um, find the description box and go there. Um, there is a link to um, where you can go to enter the giveaway. Um, there's also a coupon code. Uh, Cricut is doing free shipping um, with the coupon code Christmas in July. Um, so make sure that if you go there to um, and you purchase a machine to use that to get free shipping. They also have some other sales and things going on. So kind of poke around there um, and see, you know, what, what tickles your fancy. Um, what else? Oh, I also have links to everyone else that's participating in this blogger tour. So if you liked what I saw or if you liked what I made and you want to see what other people made, um, please go check that out. We have a little private Facebook group where people have been sharing their stuff as they've made it. And there's some adorable, adorable things. Lots of really great um, makers participating in this. So I'm humbled and blessed to be among them. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me on this one. My pool tote slash water cup in a thunderstorm, not at the pool, vlog. I think, should that be the title? No, I'm not going to title it that. But, um, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Such is life. So thanks for sticking around, enjoying the scenery, pool or otherwise. It's a really cute bag and a really cute cup, period. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.